Every episode of this anime has been peak back to back to back to back to back. It's so action packed. I'm actually like, it's insane how well paced this anime is and how little like there's no filler or no like dead moments. Now we left off with Kafka just like showing up out of nowhere and being the hero as he is and taking down the big kaijus. But Kaiju 9 got away as usual and now we're having to fight Hoshino, the vice captain. How is this gonna happen? Because like his power unleashed is like 9.2 or something. Uh, Mina was 9.6, but his specialty is medium to size, no, small to medium sized monsters, right? So Kafka should be at an overwhelming disadvantage, but someone made also very good comments. Um, I didn't recognize the wording that Hoshino used. They used the word neutralize him, not kill him. Meaning this is probably going to go the attack on Titan route where, you know, Hoshino, AKA Levi is going to vouch for us and say, listen, Kafka, his powers, we can use this. This is going to be a great asset for us. Let's use a Kaiju to fight against other Kaiju. Surely that's the direction we're going, right? Let's begin today's reaction. Welcome to the Defense Force. I mean, hey, I mean, the title's spoiling it, right? Because Kafka's like not even full time. He's still like in this probationary period where he's just like, you're like a, what, what's, the, I forget the exact wording, but he wasn't fully accepted in. So it's looking like this is our full acceptance in after today's episode. 9.2! Beat. Hoshina, I keep getting it messed up. Hoshino, Hoshina, it's Hoshina. Wait, why not? Don't go easy on him. I don't think you can afford to, you know, not go easy on him. Like, you should go all out, I think. Oh! So fast. The best thing to do in this situation is to probably do a huge ground slam into the ground, make a bunch of smoke go up, bunch of rubble, you know, create some kind of like earthquake around, and just get the fuck out of here. That's what I would do. Yeah, this guy's a league above that. That's the power of a 9.2, I guess. Oh! Is that our core? The core is that rainbowish thing, right? It is the core, okay. The healing abilities, man. Too OP. Nine point six, which is also on the scale of ninety six for output of Mina. Kind of interesting, right? Was it nine point eight? Was Mina also nine point eight? Was Mina nine point six? Someone made a comparison. Forty two, nine point eight, and eight. Anyways, Dai Kaiju. What does Dai mean in Japanese? I should know this, but all I know are just like random phrases. Mina was 96, Kafka was 9.8. The fuck? Why did someone make the connection say, like, oh, look, 9.6 and 96, they're meant to be. Fucking cap, bro. Fucking cap. Dai just means huge. Okay. Dai Nana Oji. Wait, Dai Nana Oji is seventh prince, but Dai Nana is probably seventh or something, right? Anyways, okay, he's a Dai Kaiju, 8.0. So when we get into the 9.0, then what is that? What is 9 and above? Dai Dai? Probably feeling that he feels human? It's charging up! Oh, dude got blade fucking slashes like that! Oh! Name technique! What the fuck? Wait, we can... Oh! I didn't realize we could just do that. That's his titty right now, right? This is pectoral. You can have a mouth there too, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Punch! Oh, can you dance this, Hoshina? Yo, Hoshina was sweating there. We got away. Okay, we got away. I wanted the battle to go on a little bit longer though. Aww. And I thought that he would uncover the secrets. 
I think Hoshina already has a speculation, right? He, 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 I think he already assumes that Kafka is Kaiju 8, right? He was talking about, in, in that episode when we said he just comedic relief. No, there was an ulterior motive when Hoshina chose him, right? Kaiju Tobo. But what's a Kaiju above 9.0? What's beyond die? Let's go, stepdad. Oh, come on. Your dad would never give you head pass. Kafka did. Come on. Oh, what's up? Interesting how the suit's still on. I thought it'd get ripped off when he transforms. How does that work too? I don't even know how that works, right? Because like the suit was inside, but he turned into a monster. Does this suit like still like activate with this like in monster form? Does it like stack? Like how does that work? Oh, he's gonna fall? Aww. Kaiju number nine. The Sundere appeal. Oh. Moral support. Nice. Yeah, and I think they kind of already know. I think they already know all the clues, right? I thought Hoshina would actually see Kafka underneath the monster form, but no? <laughs> That's so cute. It really humanizes Mina like this, you know? She's not just some crazy apex, you know, monster hunter, but it's just like, I don't know, she got this, these kind of sides too? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beyond that. That's right. To not kill you. Yeah. Oh, he's making the connections. And who's beneath it? Oh, kill it. Well, now I'm going back on, you know, the wording choice saying neutralize versus kill. I feel like now, because Mina says neutralize with this kind of intent doesn't kill, I think y'all are fucking capping in the YouTube comment section saying, oh my god, she said the word neutralize, Kafka's gonna be safe. Cap! その通りやな。よ。声がでかいぞ、イカルが。どないした?ま、すみません。石川を襲ったのは試験会場に現れた者と同一の人形と思われるのです。人間の姿を知っていたと。The janitor guy. But tunnel? Dude walking? おい。おい。Wait, wait, 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 wait. Did he swap bodies? Wait. Because if Kaijin, if they found the body of the janitor guy, that means he fucking swapped, right? This guy right now. He, get back in the fucking car, bro. Get back in the fucking car, bro. Is it the same body? I thought that the implication is he swapped bodies or something because they found the janitor guy. <gasps> Uh, oh, he, he didn't bang. Oh! Oh! Okay, why couldn't he bang there? He couldn't bang there? I, I don't even know if this was the previous body, the blonde one that he had here. But he couldn't use his powers for whatever reason. Incompatible? Swap bodies? Now he's got a cool card too. Get used to this body. Every time he swaps, there's some time to get used to it, so we buy us time. Kikoro. Kafka. Yeah. Reno? Reno has actually VIP. He was he was so good last episode. Huh? Oh? He had a dead? 
なんでおっさんに礼言うんだ。でも、マリソワイソ。ほら、余重の増殖期間に気づいたのは大きかったじゃない。Okay. 確かに。He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Of course, he doesn't know. We could have fucking accidentally leaked it there. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy fuck. The secret could have gone out like that. Holy shit. Thank God it was Yaru, man. What is this cunny ass chibi models, bro? All right. Congratulatory cake. ハルイチうん。大怪獣兵器の。おですかい。イズダーメイクスアポンツカイジュウタ。そう。うちなんか比較になる。ディスカイハズロキビンスレプトオンソファー、イヴンドウヒーズビンハイライトドアズライクザム
He is so robotic. There's something so funny about this guy. He's not even trying to be funny. He's just existing. I don't know. Okay. Maybe he got daddy issues too. That's interesting here. So Haruichi has daddy issues and sometimes he hasn't talked to dad since that event or something. There's some moment where everything goes wrong for him and his dad and his family is... Uh, fucking, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, uh, arms dealer. Kind of like he creates all the kaiju like weapon stuff, right? No, he didn't. Oh, full admittance. Welcome. We're on equal status as everyone else. Let's go. Woo! Dude, that's the best part. Everyone recognizes the old man. That's so nice. You did it all day. Can you even lift him? Oh, my heart. Oh, my heart. This guy. If I can stop us from a single person, I want to. Oh, dude. These are flags for sure. I hope this guy survives. I hope he is a quiet soldier, but he is like... He's got a heart of gold, you can just tell. But like, they've been setting up these like death flags. But Shonen Jump series, right? Shonen Jump series. Like, people don't die so often in these Shonen Jump series, right? Like, in backstories, they die a lot. But like, Shonen series, it's, it's extremely rare that people ever die unless... It, there, there's like, there's usually like one really, really serious death that's super impactful. But other than that, it's... And, and usually the deaths are from those mentor types, right? Those mentor types that show up, train the main character, and then it's some way of him dying and inheriting the will, right? But I don't think it's really this guy. Who could it be? I don't know. Who could die? But if someone started dying, I don't know, it could get spicy when they start to just start killing people off. Here's the promotion ceremony. From Mina herself? Yes, ma'am! I will stand beside you one day! This gotta be so awkward, right? Cause they still haven't like talked seriously. This gotta be so fucking awkward, cause they, they, cause like no one is mentioning the elephant in the room. It's like, yo, like, are we chill? Like, remember our promise? Like, come on. So, Alright. <laughs> she remembered that line. She remembered that. Yeah, she does. She's been waiting the entire time. そもそも初手から仕組んだんや。花から全力で言っとけば首飛ぶ好きやのって you are the target. We got 1% of his expectations. That's not so bad, right? Better than nothing. I thought that he would like confront us or something, right? I thought that he would truly like confront us and be like, you are Kaiju 8, aren't you? Or something, but... That's not happening. Interesting. Okay, we're delaying that. Whoa. Flying kaijus? Also, do we know how kaijus even appear? Do we know how that works? There's no gates that opens up and monsters come through. Have we ever been told 
how kaijus even appear. They just appear out of thin air. So that's another plot point we don't know. But okay, we got flying kaijus here. Who is that? Who the... F Yo! Yo! That's not Kaiju 9, right? What is this? Kaiju 7? Kaiju 6? Kaiju 10? There's a humanoid here. Okay, okay. And he speaks! And he commands the other Kaijus! They keep evolving! And that's today's episode. Yo! The beginning of this episode went fucking crazy with Hoshina versus Kafka. The fight ended too quick for me but like oh, i just wish they could have kept on giving us bro so you know hoshina did seem to get pushed back but we were also like he didn't know fully right he had like skill five instead of skill six that he could have uses and, and like some other shit right so he could have just cut her head off but also we kind of punched his blade out right we didn't kill him so it's not a draw we did run away but hoshina really really fucking strong Kikoru has been just a delight the entire time being a tsundere stepdaughter that we take care of. And the kaiju number 9 seems to have swapped bodies, right? Bro has swapped bodies and it takes him a little bit longer to obviously get familiar with this body. Meaning this red guy is a totally separate kaiju. He could be... I, I don't know if every named kaiju still exists or not. Like the numbered kaijus. Like kaiju's numbers 1 to 7. We know 8 and we know 9. What is this? 10? What is this? 7? I don't know. But the important thing is they can talk. And he just ordered the flying kaiju to descend. So it's like they're evolving. That's the really scary thing, man. The smarter they get, the more they have to adapt to, you know, our... Uh, Jack Diev, it's gonna be pretty bad. A lot of flags as well to this episode during the party celebration. They keep teasing the fact that maybe someone could die. I'm not sure if there's really a character that exists in this show that's so... That's that's like... You know how I said in the Shonen show, usually what happens is there needs to be a mentor figure for the main characters that then passes on their will as they die. I don't really think there is a character like that, nor is there a character that I've really gotten attached to where I feel really sad if they died like Reno maybe but he's on the path to become a captain I don't think they would do Reno like that but hey a death may be coming Mina she is uh Mina and Kafka they're uh it's getting better right it's she's not just giving us the cold shoulder treatment she had acknowledged us and there's also some funny parts about her like taking a picture of Hoshina and stuff like that so makes her a little bit more human makes me think that she could be an airhead I'm not really sure, but next episode should be fucking insane with this Igris looking, you know, Kaiji from solo leveling. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.